enter inside a new area which is where olive trees wither and since we have picked up the shroud of dreamt since relic we can listen to bodies now i feel myself weakening i am sentenced to perish abandoned in this forceful praying position i can no longer hear the rest only the rest of cages swaying in the wind and we'll have to climb some walls now so actually this area we're here a bit too early we should have actually defeated the boss at the mercy dreams and then continued through desecrated cistern however because there's a quest that i want to do before continuing with the starline otherwise it will mess up the quest we will go a bit of a detour which will make our life a bit harder but i think it's worth it anyway come down here and pick up the radius of helzer the poet and we'll climb up here and over there is the npc that will give us the quest and therefore let us listen to him contrite and humiliated with the heart penitent one in silence you stand before what remains of gemino oh do not fret for me the cold is merciful, for it leaves our pain and numbs us before it leads us to our deaths. Perhaps the miracle the others spoke of has come to me. Here, in this iron tomb, lengthening distress more and more. To a promised land you direct your march, to the place where the frozen and the burning embrace in communion. Let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees. The ones that ended up scorching the faces of every pious person who ever reached the summit. As my last wish, before it is too late for me, let me feel that pain. Take this. Now, let my numbed arm become another branch of this withered olive tree. Hurry up, I can still hear the call. Okay, we will leave Gemino and continue toward the left. Clear all the enemies. And if you continue towards the left and enter into the cave here, you will pick up the incense garlic, which we can give to Tirso. Hit the wall here to open a hidden area. And now you can see there's a grave where we cannot interact with this grave. And that is why we need Gemino's quest. Let us climb up here continue climbing up and now let's proceed towards the left take a drop down here and you saw there is a children of the moon on these cliffs located at the foot of a snowy abyss the roots of a secret await those who are patient we can see there's the children of the moon however we cannot reach that one yet and therefore let us continue toward the left yeah these things are fucking bullshit We'll just continue upwards. Okay, continue upwards. After defeating the enemies on this platform, continue ahead. Watch out, there is an enemy actually down below. I have already dealt with it. And now what we will do is we will drop down here all the way until we enter inside the cave here. This area can be, mm, yeah, this area can be a bit difficult, so watch out. I'm be completely reckless here and simply run to the end of this platform to the right. Pick up this item and then make my way back because I don't want to deal with these enemies. And I'll just exit. The item that we picked up is the quest item which is the remains of Tentudia's hair. This one we can give to Ludovico. I think that's his name. Okay, enter in here. And now we're at the graveyard of the peaks, which is an area where you have to make use of the wind. Alrighty, so let us slide from underneath the wall there, slide to the next room. And here you can already see our invisible platforms trying to help us out. But we will first activate the altar here so that I have some more health and continue towards the left, all the way to the left first, please. Climb up here. Lamp on top of the lift. Here you can pick up the knot of rosary rope, which will come in hand much later in the game. And now enter into the door on the left. Here you can pick up an immaculate bead. 
And if you have guilt, you can rid yourself of guilt by praying at the confessor statue. Okay, if we were to take this lift down, we would be back at Albero. I'm gonna go all the way down again. And I'll give the incense garlic to Tirso. And we have received some X-ray tears of atonement from him. Now we can talk to the dude in the window and give him the remains of Tentudia's hair. This poor lass. Many tears were shed in her blessed name. A thousand prayers do not clarify whether or not the grievous miracle is a manifestation of true holiness. Still, in our heart lieth no doubt that she was unjustly punished. Find the next remnants. The order blesses thee. And we have received some more tears of atonement. What are those little ones that seem to hide up in the ceilings amongst the ornaments of the old ones? When I call them, they do not appear to pay me any mind. They are covered in ribbons that give the impression of fluttering in an invisible, imperceptible, constant wind. At times I hear them cry. And at times I hear them laugh. What are you, O oh creatures of divine grace? Okay, back at our lift. Now we can actually reach the children of the moonlight here. So go for it. And we have freed the fourth of them. With that, I return back to the graveyard of the peaks. Here we can talk to the merchant. And we'll purchase the torn bridal ribbon. And with that, we're leaving her for now. Now with our invisible platforms, climb up and free yet another children of the moonlight. Now that we have done that, it is time to climb up the graveyard of the peaks. So let us do that. It is closer now. The crown faces of eyes announce the proximity of the cloud. They presage the pain awaiting inside its walls. I ask the cold to be merciful and allow me to climb to the peaks where I will be reborn as a sister of gold visage. So let us climb up here. Watch out that these platforms, they're actually... Those platforms actually break, so be fast. Yeah, we're not doing that. And this dude can actually hit you off the platform, so watch out for that. Up into the next screen we go. Let's first come over here. I don't know how the hell to do that. Let me just come over here. And here I can actually hit it. Okay, uh, I have lost a lot of health. Now let me deal with this dude. Okay, clamp up, clamp up. First off, let us go towards the right route. So here you see more of these. These dudes are not cool. I don't like them. We have to make use of the wind. So let us go. And pick up the empty bile vessel, another one. And now we can, with the wind going toward the left, we can jump back. Okay, clamp up, clamp up to this side. We have picked up another bone. Jump back to the left and climb up the platforms again. Climb up the platforms until you can no longer continue upwards. Okay, here we are. Don't try to climb up the invisible platforms. They are not leading us anywhere yet. We have arrived at a vertical fork. We will cover the right area first, deal with the enemies here, and then climb up the platforms all the way to the top. Climb all the way up again. One, two, and then hold on to this. Okay, after dealing with those enemies, once again, you have to make use of the current of the wind. And here we can pick up the piece of a tombstone. Whoa, 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 don't do that. Okay, we could continue upwards, but we will not do that yet. So make your way back down. Pick up my guild. And we will continue via the screen on the left. And here we can pick up the muted bell. Continue downwards toward the left wall while dealing with the enemies. We will have to slide through that tiny gap there and then hit 
upwards to free children of the moonlight okay there you go and we have freed the six children of the moonlight climb back up to the area where we picked up the muted bell and continue climbing up to the upper area here we can listen to another body or ghost i can bear it no longer that sound that ringing will follow me forever no matter where i go this is my sentence. It is time to cross towards the other side of this cursed dream. Enter inside the room on the left to find a fountain where you can refill your empty bile vessels. These are the ones that we picked up earlier. You can also restore your health here and refill the bile vessels that you have used up. Okay, climb up here and now we have to wait as we should pick up the item that you see on the far left i will actually make a run for it and therefore pick up this okay we did grab that item which was another bone okay this time around exit via the right and here let us climb up We've been in this area previously, but we did not climb it up all the way to the top. Therefore, this time around, climb up, climb up, and now drop down here to unlock a secret area. And here we can increase our MP bar. Therefore, interact and anoint yourself with the oil of the pilgrims. Anyway, let us continue all the way upwards, climbing up the platforms here. Okay, don't attempt to jump anywhere over there. There's really nothing there. Simply continue via the left and run all the way inside the next church. Indeed, sister of mine, our encounter is approaching. The miracle will protect me. I do not need your protection this time. Leave me alone. And here we are at the convent of Our Lady of the Chariot Visage. Tough enemy ahead, this nun over there. Okay, just slide through there, don't try to deal with her unless you really want to. I'll climb up to find the next altar where I can rest. Jump all the way down to the lowest floor. Here we can listen to another ghost. The sisters have themselves before two holy figures in their crypts. What secrets might they be keeping? Their eyes anticipate sacrifices, anticipate pain, anticipate blood. And now enter inside the room on the left. There will be poison miasma here as well as lava. Therefore make sure to equip your moss preserved in glass bead. Make sure to heal and run all the way toward the right. Kill the sister that is pulling on the chain. And we can pick up the Heart of Salt Peter Blood, which is a Mia Kulpa heart. So we can equip this later at our altar. Okay, now I have to make my way back. I will now enter inside the room on the right. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh god, I'm so bad with these guys. And exit, and here you will find yet another lift. If you were to continue from the lift into the next room on the right, you will get to this cage. Stand on the bloodstains and then use your blood penitence to open up the room. And here we can pick up the heart of the unnamed minstrel. Now that we picked up that item, let's take the lift down. And from here, climb up this lift into the next room. Blessed are the eyes that with devotion see my tormented heart. Let the ones who are joyful in affliction and fasting come to me, for they are pleasant penance. Six sting pains lance my flowery breast. Take the first one and purge one of your six mortal stains over the soul. Maximum health has increased. That is amazing. Now we can climb down again and you'll take the lift back up. With that, go back into the room with the frog enemies. And now we will climb up back to our shrine. 
climb up the ladder and go through the first door on the right. Once again, make sure to evade the lava pots here and at the far end, kill the sister that is activating the mechanism by pulling on the chain. Let us climb up the ladder here. Once you're at the upper floor, climb up the surfaces and make your way to the top, watch out for the lava and deal with the sister that is pulling on the chains. Ignore the lower area and simply go to the left toward the next section. Continue upwards. Okay, and as you can see this gate is closed. Continue downwards while dealing with the enemies on our way. Okay, with that lady now dead, move towards the left and you can see there's poison gas again, so be prepared. Once you've dealt with all the enemies here, climb up the ladder on the left. Continue toward the right and climb up the next ladder. And at the top hit the jar to open the mechanism. I will just simply slide through here and pick up the piece of gold mask. Alright, now that we have picked up the piece of a gold mask, let us climb down this ladder here. And with that we can enter inside the door on the right. Pull the lever here and this will give us access to a shortcut leading to our altar. Exit via the door on the left again, but this time around make your way downwards and here we will meet a new enemy which is a wax ghost. Yeah, these enemies can be kind of tough because they jump around and they shoot projectiles, so watch out for them. Continue towards the left, there will be another wax ghost, so simply, simply deal with the enemies here and follow their route to the left. Okay, there's a sister over there. Climb up this ladder now. Once you have dealt with the enemies, simply follow the platform all the way to the right where you can pick up the Phalanx of Miriam, the counselor, another bone. Return back the way that we came and climb down the ladder again, taking the door on the lower left. So enter inside, run all the way to the left, keep an eye on your health bar and watch out for the enemies. Pick up the small bead of blue wax and now exit the room. With that, return back to our previous spot and climb up the ladders on the left all the way to the top to the next screen. At the upper floor, climb up the platforms, deal with the enemies while following the platforms all the way to the left and then climb up and follow the platforms all the way to the right. Okay, and here we can pick up the medium bead of red wax so this is a little bit better than the one we had before and as you can see the little one that we grabbed earlier is now gone so they're being replaced you don't do not you cannot collect a bunch you're they're being replaced instead with that continue back towards the left to exit the room so drop down and exit the room via the lower door on the left watch out there's some lava here Clamp up the platforms and the surfaces all the way to the top while keeping an eye out on the lava and dealing with the enemies here. Once you reach the top, make sure to kill the chain lady here to stop the lava from pouring. Okay, before we enter into the room on the right, take a look inside the room on the left. Follow the screen all the way to the left. Here we can pick up the cloistered sapphire. Other than that, there's nothing else going on here. With that set, exit the room and enter the one on the right. Here we can once again listen to a ghost. I can feel our lady between these walls. I can feel her warmth, for her face still burns. A reminder of her sacrifice and ours. The pain, the cold and the burn are our wounds. And previously you were able to pick up the quest item of Gemino here, but now you have to actually go through the entire boss fight to pick up the quest item. Oh, fuck, come on! 
shit, I'm so fucked. Okay, come on. Oh shit. Oh, finally, Jesus. Gosh, that was an ordeal. Gosh, okay. Oh, let's exit here. And here we will enter inside the first uh, dream with an blasphemous. Simply follow the screen to the right. In the name of the great ordeal and the sons of the miracle. When you humbled yourself before my most holy body, you have been granted the presence of my golden visage, custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. Our miracle has chosen me amongst all the peers, just as it chose you to walk on the sacred sea. May the gold in my visage melt and erase the compunction of your soul. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. As you can see, we have now acquired Holy Wound of Compunction and with that, when you take a look at your health bar and your little icon next to the health bar, you now have this tiny circle above your characters called PFP. And the more you collect, the more humiliation you collect, we have to collect three, the more little circles will appear on top of your PFP. Okay, here, please interact with this. This is for Gemino's quest, so interact with this and you will acquire the golden thimble filled with burning oil. Okay, exit via the right to interact with Deo Gracias. You have carried out the first humiliation of penance. You have been allowed to behold the visage of compunction. You have yet to prostrate before two last holy visages. Now pull the lever here. And by pulling this lever, we have opened up yet another pathway to the previous altar. I will exit via the right here, and this will bring me to another Mia Culpa shrine. Interact with it. And with that, I'll exit and meet you guys back where the olive trees wither. Please interact with Gemino and give him the golden thimble filled with burning oil. I feel the boiling oil entering my frigid veins. I can still answer the call. Okay, and with that, he will stop responding to us. Then I'll go back to your shrine, save here, 
and cut out actually. And after restarting, you will find an item here which is the frozen olive. It is a beet, the frozen olive is a beet and as you can see Gemino has died. So he's no longer here. We will now go back to where we found that cave before here and enter inside the cave and now where previously there was the closed grave the grave is now open as you can see and that tree that looks like a person is actually gemino so let's pick up the item that gemino is holding and we have acquired dried flowers bathed in tears with that let us drop inside the open coffin and now give the dried flowers to the dead body here. And with that we have acquired Seta Dolorosa, which is another prayer and I will equip that prayer. And now let us continue. And please climb up these platforms here. And what we have to do now is we have to use our fervorous blood. So you need to make sure that you purchase this one before coming here. And this allows you to throw your own blood like a throwing weapon. Okay, we need that one right now. And there you go. And now we have freed another children of the moon. Deal with the enemies here. After defeating that enemy, come back down here actually because there's some of these weird screeching warm thingies down below here. So we should probably deal with them first before... Let's continue. There's some more here. No! No, 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 no! Okay, and with that we have def dealt with all of these weird screeching worm thingies. Now let us go back to where we freed the children of the moon and climb back up these platforms. Now we will be doing some platform jumping. So come up here. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to slide from below here and then grab onto that platform. That can take a few tries. And onto this platform. Okay, now we need to jump over there. Oh gosh, yeah, you should definitely... Okay, once again, hold on to this. Jump onto the platform, jump onto the next platform, grab onto this one, and now we can grab the... another bone. <laughs> I'm not gonna read this, and I will be dropping down. And now we're done with this area, so climb up here. And as far as I'm aware, we're done here. So break the wall here to exit. And this will bring you back to where our altar was. With that, I will now make my way to... Hello, we're back in Mercy Dreams from the shrine here. Exit towards the right. And now we will climb up the ladder here on the way, please. And now exit so that we're back in the wasteland of Burridge Churches. We're on the bridge here. So I'll just drop down, drop down. Uh, we actually should deal with the enemies here, so let us do that. Okay, let me climb up here so that I don't fall onto these spikes, onto our invisible platform. And now come up here and pick up the Tendudia's Carnal Remains, which is a quest item for the dude in the window in Alberto. I cannot pronounce his name, so I'm just not even going to attempt it. And with that, make your way back to Mercy Dreams. Okay, we're back in Mercy Dreams. Now return back to the area just before the boss arena. For that, simply go down the map so the boss arena is, is here somewhere. So simply go down all the way. Okay, and here we are just before the boss arena. There is also an altar here, so activate it. Okay, with that, I'll now enter inside the boss arena. Okay, Rage.
Alright, with that we have completed the second humiliation, continue towards the left for another dream. And once again, simply follow the screen to the right until you find the golden head. In the name of the great ordeal and the sons of the miracle, may the gold in my visage melt and erase the attrition of your soul. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. We have received the Holy Wound of Attrition. And as you can see, we now have a second circle above our PFP. Let us listen to what Dio Gracias has to say. You have carried out the second humiliation of penance. You have met the visage of attrition. You have yet to prostrate before one last holy visage. Okay, so here we are finally in the desecrated cistern. This is the area which we avoided for a big portion of this of this walkthrough. Finally, we're here. To me, this area can be kind of confusing or tricky. It's easy to get lost here, at least to me. So I have to be careful with the way that I explain things. So first off, exit toward the left and then enter into the room here on the left to find the Lady of Six Sorrows interact and talk to her take the necks of my deep pains and with that our maximum health has increased and she has disappeared if we hit the wall on the left nothing is gonna happen so with that now we will climb up here but we have to watch out for those poison drops okay let us climb up all the way to the top first and here we can pick up yet another bone and with that, we can now enter inside the door on the, uh, I guess, second floor left. Okay, once again, there will be these dudes. You see that guy just appeared? They're, they're summons and they reappear all the time until we find the, I guess, necromancer or whatever for them. So let's just free the children of the moonlight here. Continue towards the left and now climb up the ladder all the way to the top. And do not enter inside the room on the left yet. Instead, jump the platforms all the way to the right. We'll be ignoring them. And this is the lady that summoned them. So, as you can see, the dude now disappeared. Climb up this ladder. Let us first go through the door on the right. Simply continue towards the right here. Continue, continue. Uh, yeah, I could kill that lady, but I'm just gonna ignore and continue towards the right and at the far right you will find another lever that we can pull and this will open a gate and here we will find our merchant bag at the mercy dreams yeah so if you wanted to for instance purchase the hollow pearl you can do so i don't want to purchase it but yeah here you can find another alternative route to her and if we exit via the right we will just be back in the mercy dreams make your way back to from where we came back in the previous room let us climb up and here enter inside the room on the right first ignore the room on the lower area on the left ignore it just go through the upper right door first i need to heal kill the lady at the far right and here you will find a treasure chest open it to grab another empty bar vessel with that make your way back to the room that we came from okay back here climb all the way down and this time around take the door on the left all right, now let's just climb up these platforms. There will be some drops, so watch out for that. I don't, really don't know which way these drops go all the time. Out, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. I'll be trying to ignore these guys. Jump the platforms all the way to the left, ignoring the lower part of this area. And now we have to climb up this ladder, but there will be drops, so watch out. Exactly, watch out for that. Okay, let us now climb down the ladder here. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, I did not need to climb down because I fell. We can listen to the body here. It must be mountain. The bell will not stop ringing 
I hear it screaming even in my dreams. My hands are wounded from all the digging. It must be around here. Just one more wound. I hear it close by. And when we're ready, enter inside the room on the left. And here we can fill up the empty bile vessel, which we found. And with that, our health also restored, which is great. Now exit the room. And now let us climb up the platforms here. Okay, continue. Ignore the door first. Simply climb up the ladder here. And we can pick up the, well, another bone of a nurse. Okay, and now we can drop down and enter the door on the left. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, blah, blah, ah, one got me, ah, one got me. Okay, exit via the room on the left. And here, once again, a bunch of ladders and another door on the left. Let's continue first by climbing down the ladder here. We will take the left here first. And after you have dealt with these enemies, take the ladder down and take the next letter all the way down and here hit the wall for a secret door or a secret room and here we can anoint ourselves with the oil of the pilgrims and increase our our fervor with that exit the room and now let's drop down the platforms on the right and enter inside the room on the right there will be a lot of poison here so make sure to i don't know what the fuck that was that was weird just platform jump from one ladder to the other okay now first off simply jump onto the ladder that you see watch out that poison doesn't get you and now jump hit this and grab onto your ladder do not fall down the freaking poison area that is like fucking crap you don't want to do that okay with that i'll now jump back onto the platform here onto the next ladder onto the next ladder onto the next ladder and climb it all the way up and now we will slide through here and pick up the black grieving veal which is a quest item now let us exit this room ouch and just exit all the way back clamp up the ladder here okay okay there you go clamp up clamp up and now exit this area via the door on the left hit the lady here i guess that's a lady at least and open up the gate follow the route or route all the way to the left all the way to the left and now climb up the ladder here okay and now climb up the platforms all the way to the top and this will bring you back to our battle just so you know i think it's time that we should give the dude in the window his quest item and here interact with him and give him tentudia's carnal remains the order blesses thee penitence one in silence and with that, we have received some Tears of Atonement. You can also enter inside the church and donate some of your Tears of Atonement. But at this point, I really don't have that much to donate. For now, we turn back to the Desecrated Cistern. Okay, back here, climb down the platforms. Please ignore the door here on the left. Just ignore it for the moment. And with that, we will now enter inside the room on the left which will bring us to the mountains of the endless dusk since we have already done it where the olive trees wither graveyard of the peaks and the sister of the charred visage we can now continue with this area 